Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more Gear City. Yes, we're back in Gear City. Um, one thing to mention though, uh, I'm using a new computer now, uh, and with that, uh, yeah, I didn't transfer over my Gear City save because I'm, a, I'm an idiot. So we're starting a fresh save of Gear City here. We're starting in the same year, I think 1904, 1905. I think that's where about we were started. Uh, we have less cash, I think, than what we had before. Uh, starting with like the default 1,050,000 at this time. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a bit of a rocky road. Um, we have no cars produced, we have nothing right now, we're starting off on a fresh foot. We're gonna quickly start development of a new vehicle. Uh, I think we had a sedan or a phaeton before. I think we had both a sedan and a phaeton, uh, before. So I think we're just gonna build another four-cylinder engine with a, we had what, a flathead I think is what we had? We could do a flathead again because it's cheaper, probably, that sounds good. Naturally aspirated because that's, that's, that's what makes sense. And then just like lower all the quality yet again for everything here. Uh, basically... We're designing our new engine, making it the worst of the worst because we're trying to save money. We're trying to just get a car that sells. Obviously, we are playing in the same city, the great city of Winnipeg, uh, Winnipeg Gang. Um, so it's it's not it's not the best start. It's, it's a very difficult start. We are on hard mode still, the second hardest difficulty, um, which I mean I've beaten before. I've never started actually in a city uh, this difficult to start off. And usually I usually play in a slightly easier cities by playing the harder modes. Uh, what, 10 horsepower and 70 torque? That sounds like a fairly good engine, actually. It's quite large, though. Uh, let's lower the size down a bit. Like, 2.3 liter, that sounds perfectly fine. 6, so we're going to lower the fuel economy. We don't need that. 65 and 10. That sounds fine to me. A, a still reasonable a, a 90 MPG. If we go at T, that's 10 more bucks, and we're getting an extra, one extra horsepower only. Yeah, yeah, that's... We don't need that horsepower, do we? Uh, let's spend... Let's spend a year to developing the new engines. We can see here 12 months, so one year before it's developed. And we'll call this the um, 2.3 Gen 1. That sounds like a fine name, all one word, because why not? Then quickly on to a new... Oh, would you like the advanced component designer to roll? No, I don't I don't need that. Thank you very much. Uh, front engine, rear wheel drive. It's a good cheap design. We could do front engine, front wheel drive. Um, I don't think there was much mass produced front wheel drive cars at this time. Front engine and front wheel drive cars. We'll just do a rear... Uh, wheel drive front engine car, leaf spring in front and rear because we're trying to save money here. The car doesn't have to be good, it just gotta sell. Um, I think maybe a pickup truck at some point too today is maybe the goal. I think a pickup truck, and I want to grow the company uh, more in the United States because obviously the US sells a lot more cars. Um, now, this game does sort of follow a real life um, economic path, you know, as real life, it, it mimics real life quite well actually. It's, it's pretty awesome. Um, if you like that, then yeah, that's cool. Uh, so in 1914, World War One starts, and obviously there's a lot of issues in Europe. If you're playing in Europe with World War One, you can't produce cars, you can't really sell cars because your factories are you know, being used to produce tanks, and yada yada yada. Uh, but there's a lot more military contracts and things too coming up in the next 10 years, which is pretty cool. Uh, World War Two is when it gets real, uh, real, uh, real feisty. Uh, definitely a bit more of a challenge because. Yeah, um, unless you have like a good factory base manufacturing goods for the U.S. government. If you're in Europe at all in World War II, you are pretty much screwed. Um, we should make sure this engine fits by choosing select engine on the chassis design page. And we can just lower the length down a bit, I think. I think just shorter length, which also makes the car lighter. Uh, it does cost a bit more to lower the length than if you were to lower the max supported length. So like, there's max supported length and just wheelbase length. So changing the wheelbase length and width, basically, or the track width, allows you to have bigger and smaller engines, but also uh, changing the max supported engine length and width changes that as well. But the difference is, this affects the weight, uh, and this does not affect the weight, this is going to just cost more. This is pretty much focusing on how do you package it. And this is physically making it larger or smaller to also help package your car. So we can do a fairly short wheelbase chassis. Uh, what are we doing here? The 20 engine length is 27 inches. The wheelbase is... Is this the wheelbase of the chassis? 86 inches? Is it, is it the length of the whole car? I guess the, that's just the length of the chassis. It seems quite long, actually, but you know what? That's fine. Uh, increase the weight, lower the height, also going to save some money there. And we'll just lower down the performance. Because we already have terrible performance, and we are on a leaf... A ladder. Oh, a ladder frame instead of a carriage frame. Okay, perfect. So one year as well, it's going to cost us just 10 grand. And we'll call this the, um, the... Chassis, which is, you know, chassis... Gen... One. That sounds fine. CH Gen 1. Uh, lastly, we are moving on to the gearbox. Of course, a very important piece for any vehicle, I, I think, maybe. I'm not too sure, really. Uh, I just noticed the game is actually a little bit... It doesn't fit the screen quite 100%. We're actually... I don't know why. 
there's a black bar at the bottom for some reason. No one knows. Uh, right now, I'm just going to actually just change the size just a little bit. Make it fit. I'll force it to fit, I guess. No. I don't know the issues. I'll fix that right now. All right, so we're back. Uh, I just pretty much had to reload the game, uh, changing the resolution size and yada yada. It's just some things. We're fine. Uh, so we still have to develop our gearbox, which is obviously quite important. We'll go for. I think we had a one speed of four. Uh, we'll stick. We'll go to a two speed. Uh, we don't need reverse at this point in time. I don't think the car is. You just, you just put it in neutral and then just push the car back. To, to be honest, like these cars only weigh what, like two thousand pounds or whatever it is. Like so, the cars aren't incredibly heady, heavy, heady, heavy, heavy. Uh, so I don't think pushing them, if you got to go reverse, would be a huge problem. We're going to tune it for, we're going to gear it for fuel economy and not top speed. We'll gear it for torque and fuel economy. And the max input, so it can handle 70 pounds of torque. We can increase that to 120, which affects the reliability. It's a stronger gearbox, basically, to handle more torque. Or we can save money as well. It's cheaper if you make it weaker. So we'll do a medium one, the one that's good for our engine, basically. Um, and just do this for one year as well. We'll call this the uh, TM1. Sounds like a fine name. Sure, why not? Uh, I also wanted to design a bigger engine. We're going to go modify engine. Uh, no, I, I don't need the tutorial. Thank you. We'll go redesign. So we're going to redesign the 2.3 Gen 1. We're going to make a bigger engine, maybe a straight 6. But it won't fit in the chassis. So if, what if we go for... Oh, we, we can't do Vs yet, can we? Okay, you know what? I think that's fine. Two point, this, is, this is fine. What we're going to do... We're going to... No. We're going to wait a minute to go public because we're not worth very much at all. Oh god, a bunch of things are popping up. We're gonna apply for a line of credit, because it'll help us out just a bit if we need it. And we have, um, we could probably use bonds, honestly, but I think we'll be fine. We're gonna go 12 months, real quick. It'll take even faster than before, because my computer's faster. Uh, much, much so than the last computer that I had, so that's, that should be, should be good. Yeah, it went by quite quickly. Uh, ooh, this is new. They changed the page up a bit here. There was an update since I last played, like, a week ago. Which is kind of surprising, honestly. This game gets updated quite frequently. Usually once every few months, um, and a few guys were asking, where, where, where do you get this game? You get it on, you can get it on Steam, or you think you could just go on the website. Uh, you can just go on Steam, the Steam store page, uh, and type in Gear City. Uh, it should pop up. I can also provide a link if you guys want to check it out and stuff. It's, it's a lot of fun. Like I said before, oh, we can actually get a bigger line of credit. We're gonna take that actually. So, uh, we're gonna go back to our research and development center. We're gonna go to outsource. This is where we can sort of. Um, outsource our engines and all those things. We have our engines that we can license to other companies. So if someone else wants to uh, build our engine, we're not gonna have any signing fee. So it costs nothing to sign up with. This is this is how I found uh, the AI is most likely to, to purchase your stuff. Instead of getting $1,000 once from a company, you just get $18 a unit and hopefully they produce a ton of them. We'll do that. And there we go. So we're, we're licensing out the, the transmission or the gearbox, the engine and chassis. Uh, if we go, Oh yeah, no one's built any cars yet. The car companies are just sort of getting ready. So if we go... We're not going to have so many months because we need to start designing a car. Um, I don't need tutorials, thank you very much though. We'll build a sedan, I think, first, or a Phaeton? Phaetons are still very popular, but the popularity will feign. Uh, we'll build a Phaeton. I think that'll be easy to sell, low performance. They're just cheap cars. They're, they're very cheap. 2.3 liters is a fair size. I think that's similar to... Um, Oh, yeah, I have no pre-made cars. Oh, that's I lost all my cars that I did. Oh, no, I didn't lose all of them. I lost lots of the cars I designed. Oh, that's not great. Um, that's okay, though. The worst thing is a like a, a, a already made body. And, of course, there's some of mine that I actually made. Not not of the Phaeton, though, actually. We'll take some random car designed by someone and use that. A Phaeton, very, very cheap, open open top vehicle, basically. Uh, this is Eric. Eric is the developer. This looks like a fine, a fine car. We'll use that. Lower down the quality here just a bit. And go to design focus. We'll go to we'll target it towards the lower middle class, I think. So that'll be make it a bit cheaper. And we'll lower down the performance aspects. And we'll lower down some interior things like safety. You don't need that where we're going. And comfort. That sounds fine. So we're saving a bit of money there. Seven fifty per vehicle, so it's gonna sell for what, fourteen hundred or so. So I like to think around double the estimated material cost is around what you sell for. So it's it's a bit expensive, obviously. Um Top speed of 30 miles an hour, just under 17 mpg. Weighs 1600 pounds, so we don't need we don't need the reverse gear really. And I think I'm not sure what we call the last car. I can't recall. We're gonna call this the model or the just the MK1, the Maven Motors MK1. That sounds fine. So Maven is just a run of the mill standard company. 
Um, we are now going to actually click this telephone. You can see contracts and see if anyone wants to contract any, any things from us. So right now, uh, the Canadian Army is looking for pickup trucks that run on E85. That's not going to happen because it's not going to sell besides the, the contract. And they don't want to buy 11 a month. Uh, they will buy 11 a month of, of pickup trucks that just are regular. So if we can design a pickup truck, um, it needs 88 torque though. And we don't have that. Uh, and that is due. So we need to submit it by 19, by the 11 month. That's not going to happen either. Uh, yeah, none of these are going to happen right now. They're all within the next year. But pickup trucks are definitely pretty popular. And I, I want to make one soon. It won't be a mass market vehicle because in this time period, pick pickup trucks weren't crazy popular for the public. Um... But you can sell them to the military, etc., which obviously uh, is kind of important, I think. I don't know. Is it kind of important? Nah, it's not important. Uh, the military, like military contracts can make a pretty, you can make a pretty penny off military contracts. So we're, we've hemorrhaged funds completely and utterly, but our first car is out. We've literally lost a million dollars in a while. Uh, we're going to sell this for 1500 And we're going to go to all do auto stuff, basically. Um... Now, we should do an IPO, because we have no money, and we're going to auto-sell this. We sold, we lost a little bit of money, that's okay, that was expected, we lost a little bit of money this month. Now, I want to sell in Chicago, or, yeah, Chicago right here. That's going to sell pretty good, so it's going to cost us 55 grand to start selling there again, and we will post it for 1550 in Chicago, so it's fifteen hundred in Canada, fifteen fifty in Chicago because we gotta sell, we gotta make a bit more money there. I think. There we go. Now we are in the black. Nearly, we're losing four grand because we we lost fifty six from construction costs, which is not bad. We also have a pretty fair sized line of credit in case we go in the negative for money, uh, and I think we can actually start selling in maybe Milwaukee. Because look, Winnipeg only is 66,000 people, Milwaukee is 300,000. That's going to cost us a bit. And we'll sell it. 1550 everywhere, I think, even. That sounds like a fine amount. Now, we might be limited by... Okay, we're not limited by anything. We spent 27 grand building that, so we're still losing some money, unfortunately. Uh, well, wait, what was this? We can take it alone. Okay. And our company... The value's gone up. Okay, we, we're actually gonna buy back... Oh, we can't buy back shares yet. Okay. I changed the logo as well, if you're wondering. Because I can. Um, so we need to go outsource the vehicle. So it's gonna cost nothing to, to manufacture this vehicle. So it just costs us 45 bucks per unit. And we need to go platform sharing. I think we gotta go... Oh, no one's platform sharing it. That's not... It's not ideal. What if we go... Li okay, wait. Like a license? Okay, there we go. We can license at least. No, no one's platform sharing. Yeah, that makes sense. We can license vehicles. We are going to license. How about a pickup truck? There's none. Okay, well, how about a sedan? So what is a cheap, good sedan here? So we can sort of, we can actually sort by a bunch of different methods. We can sort by anything, really. We'll, we'll sort of buy, um, like, overall rating. So this is a rating of 43. They all have a rating of 43. This one's actually probably the best value. Uh, so it's a bit heavier. It has a, a 3 liter, a 2.9 liter inline two. Okay. 17 horse, 60 torque, so it's kind of not great. Uh, it is... Uh, more expensive than my car, uh, but my car, if you go view here, we can see my car is not great. It's only got 24 overall rating, so it's pretty much a crap box. Uh, this is going to be the Mave Motors M, wait, what was our car called? The M, the model, the MKS, the MK1? The MKS1 sounds fine. MKS1. And it costs us 70 grand to license that, but uh, now we can start selling that for, I think, what, 20, 20, 2200, it sounds fine. Uh, and we'll go sim one more month and see what's happening here. Okay, so we lost some money, but we paid 70 grand towards licensing. There's 60, 69 thousand dollars, 69. Um, so if you go one more month, I think we'll actually be in the positive. We are in the positive very slightly now. Now our, our market cap has skyrocketed by 60% a month, and all of our shares are sold out right now. Um, so Alp, Alp, Alp Leon, Alp Leon owns 22% of our company, which they're worth 120 million, and we're only worth 700. We're, our company is pretty much worthless at this point in time. We're gonna sim three more months, I think, and just make sure the revenue is consistent. Okay for now, it's okay for now. Bit of a loss there. Oh, and people have actually licensed our chassis. 
look at that. So people are, you can see here in the, uh, the, the, the memos page in the reports, you can see that all these companies are licensing my chassis and everything else. So that they're not paying an upfront fee, which entices the AI to do this a lot, actually. Uh, and our company's worth over a million now. Now we're worth a fair bit. We go to modify engine. I think we can actually beef up the engine a bit more. We can go to a, an F head. Oh yeah, F heads are much, much better. Okay, there we go. F head versus a flat head. The F head's actually better and it's more compact, which is great. We're going to make sure it fits in the same chassis, but I want to beef it up to a bit more torques, I think, is what we can do. We can't supercharge it. We can't do anything else besides gasoline. Uh, but we can make it a bit bigger stroke. Because we're going to make more torque with that. Look at that. So 2.7 liter. We'll actually round it down to exactly 2.7 because I want to. Um, so we're going to make... 89 torque, we'll make it 90 torque, we'll round up because we'll increase the quality of a few things here. There we go, so a better engine, it's got double the horsepower and a bit more torque. The cost is a bit higher as well, that's okay though. And we'll research this uh, in 1909, that sounds fine. So it's going to cost us 10 grand, which is nothing. Uh, the 2.7, then, then 1, that sounds fine. Okay, and we also need a different gearbox as well we will need i think a reverse gear is necessary for a truck it will increase the maximum torque just a bit and we'll gear it towards um maybe even a three speed i mean that's a nice transmission so a bit better overall uh and we'll make it done in 1909 as well so of course this de developing the cars takes the longest and costs them or takes takes the most money overall uh, parts not as much, so we're going to call this the TM, not the TM, um, this is the T heavy M for manual, sure, the T heavy manual and the T manual, that sounds fine, and it'll fit in the chassis so we can reuse that, now we're going to lose a bit of money here I think, decline in sales, okay perfect, there's a, a slight dip in worldwide economic prosperity, yada yada yada, so we're still losing a bit of money, that's okay, next year it'll uh, it'll go back up by a bit I think, We'll go two months, 1908. Look at that. And now we're making, we're back in the black. We are spending $2,000 a month on R&D, but our chassis revenue uh, is is up to 11,000 a month, which is pretty good, actually. Uh, our company's worth 1.6 million, so we can sell some more shares if we need to. Uh, one thing to check out, though, so if we go to our, like, our reports and all that stuff, our actual reports, we can go to revenue, licensing revenues. We can see here, actually, so our, our, um, what is this? Our, 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 yeah, our chassis. Our chassis is actually, we're selling 990 chassis a month at 11 bucks a unit, which is pretty good actually. We're making a few bucks from that. Uh, our cars aren't selling all that well. Um, the MK1 is actually kind of a crappy car. It's it's the lowest selling thing. Uh, but if we go back to Winnipeg, we're the only we're the only car company in Winnipeg right now. So the only cars being sold in Winnipeg are us, which is a bit better. Um, Another thing to watch out for too is transportation costs. So from the distance from the factory to the actual sales area, there is costs associated with transporting your vehicles, which is another almost issue in itself. There, there's a lot. There's a lot of costs involved. There's a lot of costs involved, guys. Um, just just a lot. Uh, so if you go, I think we'll actually just sim another six months and keep waiting. We're 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 pretty much making money right now. Actually, eight grand, which is pretty good in a month. Uh, we're not selling the most amount of cars, which is okay. We are developing a new chassis and a new engine. Look, we sold about 645 cars last year. Not bad. That's not bad. And we are licensing more components. They're all licensing the chassis. The chassis is apparently a good thing, which is good. We did, we did, we did a good. We did, we, we did a good. Our company is worth $5 million now. We can sell our stake for $3 million, which is pretty good. Um, though mostly at the beginning of the game, you really want to hold on to your stock because... The price goes up so much, and obviously I sold a bit just to make sure the company stayed afloat. I, sh I probably should have taken out a loan. Uh, we are making money, basically. We paid money in taxes, but we're making money besides that. Um, overall, it's, it's, it's going pretty good. We're going to modify the MK1, a new trim. So the original MK1, cost, right now it costs 736 to make. If we redesign it, keeping everything the same... Uh, it'll be a bit better quality overall, and it'll cost about $100 less. We can actually spend the money on things that matter. Uh, I think reliability, and I think maybe safety will be pretty good. So it'll be around the same price as before. It's going to cost us money to redesign this, though, obviously, to make a new trim. 
140,000, that's a lot of money. And we're going to complete it in five months. You can't change it when you're redesigning cards. It's produced in a whatever amount of time you can redesign it, basically. Or make a new trim. Um, so I think that's a little bit too much money right now that I want to spend. Um, keep in mind, we are working on more vehicles right now, etc. We are working on a new engine and uh, gearbox. We'll just go to the next year, save up a bit more cash. Uh, we are selling $22,000 worth of chassis now, uh, which is pretty good. And we're still selling this pretty much the same cars, which is also pretty good. We'll go back to our R&D center, and we will modify... Um, we can modify the sedan. No, we can't, because yeah, we're, we're just licensing that, actually. We can modify the MK1 and change the engine and transmission. It'll cost about the same, but it'll have a better engine and transmission. It's going to be a bit better overall quality. 144,000. It's a lot of money to spend. We don't have that much money. Wait, why did we lose so much money last month, actually? What do we spend our money on? I totally forget. Um, anyways, we're gonna go outsource... We're gonna make sure to outsource our engine and transmission, our new ones, because people might buy those. Now if we go to contracts, let's just go to contracts in general. Uh, just go to all contracts overall in the world, so no one wants to license out our engine. Uh, if our engine had 393 horsepower, they'd buy it. Well, that's not going to happen. Um, but if we go to vehicles, we can see... Uh, I don't want to do racing vehicles because that's not going to work. We'll do military vehicles for now because that, that's usually the best. So we need pickup trucks with 100 torque. Oh my gosh, really? We need the 100 torque now? That's not great. What if we go civilian here? If we sell a, a 2 plus 2 coupe, they will buy it 100 a month. That's a lot. That's actually a lot. The Chicago Police Department needs 100 cars a month over the next whatever. Um, it's got to be some certain requirements. Actually, we can we could do this one. We have nine months to do it, though. That might cost us a bit of money, though. Um, and we'll have to bid for it. There is no, like, they're not setting a set price. We'll have to set how much we can sell for. We'll see. We can do a Coupe 2 Plus 2. It gets fairly popular. Um, if we do the beefier engine and beefier... If your transmission, oh, I have none of my cars. We'll go pre-design. We're not going to design another car right now. Um, once we get to like the nicer cars, we'll design more cars because obviously those are all pretty, um, pretty, pretty rudimentary cars. Pretty standard. Um, that seems like a fine coupe. I like it. Nice little coupe. Definitely pretty old looking. Lower the quality down for this stuff, which saves you the best bang for your buck. I think we'll go to the middle class for this. So it'll be a bit more expensive, around $900 or $850. And it's going to cost us over half a million to develop. Which is not what we want to do, I don't think. We're, we're going to modify it. I think we might just make a new Phaeton. Or a pickup truck. Right? Pickup truck's also kind of a market that's... Yeah, see. It's not very popular anywhere, so it's not really worth it to make anywhere. Um, we might make our own sedan, I think. We'll make our own sedan with a beefier engine. Because we can... Obviously, we don't have any cars designed. And like that's not what we want. That's ugly. That's ugly. Um, I mean, uh, this technically could be a sedan. This technically, could, you know, even, even though it's like a wagon, it's, it's a sedan enough. I'd qualify it as a sedan. There we go. So we'll lower this down back to middle class. I think we'll do a middle class sedan. So the Phaeton's for the lower class, the lower middle class. The sedan is for the middle class, or middle class, yeah, whatever it is, and then the, we'll have a nicer car maybe at some point. So if this thing could do 31 miles an hour, weighs about a thousand pounds more, uh, it gets only 14 mpg, which is obviously bad. Uh, red light is at 1200 rpm, but it makes the 20 horsepower 950, that's pretty good. Not gonna lie, that's pretty good. We'll lower down the performance. No, we don't want to. That's, that's actually fairly important. We'll leave that the same. We will play with the market target demographic though in testing. It'll save us some money. As long as the quality is above the at the same importance level, basically, um, then we won't have any recalls, etc. There is recalls in this game and other issues and stuff that might happen. Um, we'll call this the MKS, I think. It's a fine. The Maven Motors MKS. We're not copying Lincoln. I swear, Lincoln, don't sue me. Um, we'll get into actual names at some point, but like at the beginning, like what, what do you name the cars? The MKS, Mark S. Oh wait, how long? Oh shit. No oh, gosh. That's going to cost us half a million? No, 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 no. Let's go modify, new trim. Oh, yeah, I think this, this must be a glitch. If we go to the MKS, no, we can't name that. But what if we go to the MK? 
S DMK S2 Modify wait in production. Okay. Perfect. I just found a sort of a uh not really kind of a cheat almost. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's fine. So instead of spending half a million dollars to develop the sedan, we're spending just eighty thousand dollars. I'll take that. So instead of being half a oh no, you know that's the same cost. Ah the game thought of that. Okay, we're gonna redo. We're in production here. Okay, you used to be able to do that, but now you can't. Okay, we're gonna go to Design it all over again, I think. Sports cars are pretty popular. We can do a sports car, actually. It'll be a fast sports car. It's not really performance oriented, but like it'll be cheap, at least. Like that's that's a cool front end. I like I like this a lot to be honest, it's just so cool looking. We can do a sports car. It's gonna be a bit on the expensive side though. I mean, not that expensive obviously, but you know, this is this is this is not not crazy cheap. We're gonna tune it towards before being performance oriented, um, and we'll do performance and comfort. I think is pretty important. Yeah, comfort is handling. That's pretty important. We're gonna lower down the safety. That doesn't matter at all, and it also saves weight. So there's certain sliders that affect the weight. Like so, comfort affects the weight. Luxury affects the weight. Safety does. Um, the safety and luxury focus, which they aren't really that important. Performance is quite important. Uh, 40 miles an hour, which is quite quick, I think, for 1910. You know, not terrible for a sports car. It's not great. Uh, we're going to increase the fuel economy because it's going to make the car lighter as well. Or do you not want to? Yeah, we will. It's going to cost us a lot of money to develop. So a little over two years. Be quite expensive, though. 1911. And World War One is coming up soon. Uh, and then the Great Depression... Um, the Al Cyclone, that's a cool name, but we're not gonna, we're gonna, we're, we won't call it that, we'll, we'll call this the, the MK Sport, the Mark Sport, sure, I like that name, I'll, we'll do it, we'll do it, um, so I think what we're gonna do is save it quickly, always save it because we don't want it to crash, uh, we're gonna just sim a few more months here, and we'll get the production started for the next car, we're actually making money, okay, now we're making money. What's the reasoning for that? Let's check it out. So it's it's cha it's revenue from chassis mostly, making us all of our profit. Um, we're still in around 750 cars. Not bad. Not bad for uh, part two here. We have to restart from scratch, obviously. And I think we're doing quite good from that. We are actually making a fairly good money now. So we're, we're worth 10 million. We can get away with making some cash here. I think we'll be rolling the cash. We're going to go another 12 months real quick here. Um, we don't need to always be designing something. I like to sort of see where we're at before we jump into some new projects and stuff. Uh, especially on the harder and the very hard difficulty. Because um, things can sort of jump out in front of you. We, we have a, quite a big nest egg of, you know, $300,000 or so. Not really a nest egg at all, actually. It's, it's pretty bad. Um, so if we go here. Okay, we're, we're, we're actually... Oh, people are actually licensing on our car now. That's nice. So we'll go outsource vehicle. We'll outsource our, our sports car as well. And we will start selling it. The MK Sport is going to sell for $2,300. That sounds fine. And we'll sim one more month. And look at that. We made a bit more money. We run like a ton of cars. The MK Sport, though, um, there's high profit margins. Like we make a bit over twice as many uh, the cost there. We make a bit we make a bit over twice as the cost there. And over twice the cost for sure in that as well. So the MK Sport doing pretty well. We sold 750 or so cars last year, 738. The value's gone down a bit though. Um, but overall, I think we're at, pretty, we're at a pretty good spot right now. I think next time we play, I'm going to have to say for sure. Uh, we can actually see who's selling the most. So the biggest company is Alpion, which owns a few car companies right now. They own Michigan Electro. Uh, Burley owns several as well. There's a couple of bigger companies selling 43,000 cars a year. Uh, I think next episode, we will try... A little bit in investing in other companies. We can like buy chunks of other companies. We can merge with companies, etc. I think we'll do a little bit of like coal engines is quite cheap right now. They just found it actually. We should we should we should buy some right now. Actually, like not even joking. It's a good deal. So we just bought fifteen thousand shares, which is like none. But um, they went up twenty four percent in the month, so they're clearly doing something right. And we'll just invest. I think next episode a bit more um, in some more companies. That's where you can make a ton of money. Um, Actually, generic cars is worth... He's actually a really good purchase as well. We're going to sell a bit of our company, I think. 
or sell a million dollars worth. And we're gonna go back here. Because generic cars is debt with this is General Motors. And they have um a, every company has sort of their parent like their actual IRA, real life counterparts. So generic cars is General Motors. We just bought fifty thousand shares of GM, and they own uh the GCT, which is um GMC. Right? This is GC. This is GCT, so GMC. Pretty cool. And actually they're making pretty good money right now. Like they're making four million dollars in revenue. Um like big ones like Alpion, which is where right right where right there. So they're making only thirty they're making thirty one million, but we're, they're worth like way more. So obviously it's a good investment. Overall, we're doing good. Uh we're gonna save it here. We're gonna build I wanna build a pickup truck next time. And I want to expand the line just a bit more. I want to maybe get like a I want to refresh the Phaeton, I think, because it's a bit old now. It's, it's slails are going down, I think, on that. And we're gonna actually make a new sedan. I think a new sedan, a new Phaeton, and a pickup truck. Um, and maybe a couple engine choices. So if you want to get a sporty version of a car, you can, or a bigger engine. Um, the pickup truck will hopefully be geared towards military contracts, etc. Um, it's gonna get a bit rockier next session because World War One for a second gets a bit rocky, and then the Great Depression, um, which lasts uh, quite a long time. I mean, you know, we know how long it lasts, obviously, but it's it affects the game quite a bit. So. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, this is going to be slowly a series, maybe an episode a week or so. I love this game a lot. I just don't want to overwhelm you guys with this game. Because um, it is complicated. Uh, check it out on Steam if you guys like it. Um, it's a really cool game. A lot of fun. Uh, make sure to join the Discord linked in the description. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitch at TV. So you can go twitch.tv slash TV, And that's me. Um, so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always... I'll see you next time.